we're sitting out 209 and 172. The problem is I'm having a real hard time getting fuel in it and I'm having to take fuel out here and cram fuel in here and I'm basically still tweaking but I'm running out of fuel. As you see I'm up in the 14 and a half. I'm at 80 uh, sorry 92 percent duty cycle and when I put more fuel in here it's not responding C-Tech charger on here because it seems like the battery is a little low it doesn't want to start real fast so we're running out of fuel I thought we would have more fuel than this we did put a Deech works pump in this one we put the swap in this is a DW65 it's a 265 liter an hour by Deech works we use these in our Civic kits as you see that is the identical size. It actually flows a little bit more than the wall bro, only by a little bit, but but we're gonna have to do something with fuel. I mean I'm not too bad here, but over here, as you see in the 14s, that's no good. I want to be around 12 and a half to 13. So we're trying to come up with an injector. Basically looking for injectors. Um we're digging through our stash safe. We've got some larger. These are three tens that are in it. S2000 or 360. Uh we're also looking at possibly decapping some injectors to get it up to about 550. So what we're doing right now we have some K20A injectors, some type R injectors. We've got two sets. We're actually running them. We decap them which is pretty common. It's where you take the end up there and it makes them flow more. These were flowing at 310 when you decap them they're supposed to do what like 550? It's probably going to be closer to 600. 600. We've never done it before. We see people do it. We're kind of doing our own experiment right here. Well, we ran the first set and they were all pretty close. One was a little less than the rest. So what we're going to do is basically we've got four, four here. We're going to take eight, try and balance them, try and get the four that are the closest, measure the spray banners. They're actually not that bad, yeah. but we're going to try and get them closer get the closest match, put those in the car, then we'll have a ton of fuel available. But if you've seen this before, this... We've got a couple of those little caps. I don't know if the camera will focus on them, though. Yeah, let me go show you. But the cap pulls off, and then you grind the tip off. Let's show you. All right, so this is the plastic tip that pulls off. Well, then the very end of the injector, you have to run it on a lathe and take the end off. And it's basically like a little screen. I mean, this thing is micro. Now, if I can give you an idea how small that is. That's the size of these things. And it's a little screen with the holes. You can see how big my finger is. You see there, that's about as close as I can get. You see the tiny holes? Well, you're basically taking that off and it increases the flow of the injector roughly double. All right, so we just performed that test and they're pretty much on the money. They're all at 32 cc's. So this set works really well, so we're not gonna mess with this. Let's put this set in the car, rescale our fuel, go through the calibration, and start tuning. You wanna run those again just so we can get a quick look at the spray pattern? Yeah, I was gonna run the, uh, the number four test, but we didn't do the three on the camera, so I'll do that one. Okay. Pretty close, right? Like 31, almost 32, 32, almost 32, 32. I mean, that's as good as what we've put IDs in here. And that's about as close as we get with IDs. They're about as uh, good of injector as you can get. You wanna run them wide open real quick? So let's take the stock injectors out. We'll put our super duper decapped high balance, high flow 550 to 600 cc injectors. <laughs> I don't know what they are, but a they're, lot more than what we started. They're bigger than these. Yeah, they're bigger than these, which means we have more fuel than we need now. All right, so the injectors are in. These are the decapped. Uh, a little bit of digging around the internet and based on our calculations, there should be about 600 cc's. So a nice thing about being able to calibrate it through the Flash Pro, we can dial in 600 cc's, start the car, and look it over, and start looking at the fuel trims, see how close that is, and then tune from there. All right, start her up. I'll just rescale this. We'll give it a minute to stabilize. It's on cold start right now, but obviously 
running a little lean, so let's go ahead and make some adjustments for the cold start. All right, so that's just rescaling the injectors. Now we have all kinds of fuel. We've got way more fuel than we need, and we're sitting at 12 to one. I'm gonna run this about 12 and a half, and it rations up. This is good, it means I can take fuel out. I'm gonna look at the duty cycle. We should be a whole lot less, but this is exactly where we want it to be. All right, you ready? Get up to gear and I'll put the uh, recorder on here. Okay. All right, so now we have plenty of fuel. That's definitely worked out and the spray pattern is good and it's consistent. We're pulling fuel out little by little. First run was in the high, you know, 11s, high 10s. Now we're down to about 12.0 and about 11.8 up top, which it's not really changing the power, so it's better to stay on the slightly richer side as opposed to the leaner side. That way, if you get a cold day, you have a little bit more of a buffer for more fuel. Obviously, a colder day is going to run leaner, so a little bit more fuel means it will lean out your mixture. So you don't want it at 13.5, and then you get a cold day, and it goes to 14.0. You know, run right around 12, 12 and a half. Be on the safe side. So you see here, this is our water temp. We want to get it up a little bit just so it's consistent with our runs. But you can see the IAT. Our ambient IAT right now is 76. And you can see once we get running, this number will come down. In fact, let me stand here and we'll do a run and you can watch that number change as it goes through the RPMs. Are you ready, George? Yep. All right, hit it. So final numbers, 220 and 180. And got a good looking graph right here. So the injectors did everything that we needed. We managed to keep taking fuel out, keep taking fuel out. Now the thing that's probably holding us back now is this manifold. If we could put the better manifold on and possibly a board out throttle body, I think we'd probably get another 10, maybe a little bit more if we had the same manifold that's on George's car because his pole's obviously much more up top and it's a two liter so actually for fun let's go ahead and open this graph and put it over George's so you can get an idea of a two liter versus a 2.4 all right so this is the graph comparison the red one being this the blue one being George's car so you can see it makes power instantly right across there the funny thing is they're making within one horsepower of each other obviously George's car, we're revving it out to about 84. This one, we're revving to 78. I see it's peaking right here. It's not making any more, so revving it wouldn't do us any good. However, George's, we could probably rev it to maybe 85, 86. It'd probably make a little bit more. But let's take a couple of these graphs off just so you can get an idea here. Let's take the torque graph off so it's nice and clear. So there's your horsepower graph. I see the 2.4 making power instantly. As soon as you crack the throttle, it's making power. And then you see it kind of lay over, but it's making the horsepower, but it's just making it earlier. All right, so that is the torque graph. Red one being the 2.4, blue one being the 2 liter. I see the blue one is holding kind of steady where the red one is falling off. I think that manifold might be coming into effect here, but as it as you see it makes I me mean, have 3,000 rpms it's 138 to 163 uh, 5200 161 to 178 so that gives you an idea of a 2.4 bottom end if you choose to do that in your two liter car and keep your head that's a pretty good game so there it is I'm gonna call Jeff I think he is gonna be happy because we've got 180 foot pounds of torque and 220 horsepower. So what we're going to do is go look at our graph and uh, compare it to our notes because we wrote down our guesses and I think I might be closer which means I win the grand prize. No, I'm not because I gotta do, I gotta give us some, I got 219. Nice. Let's just see what we can do. Give me that filter, I'm gonna need a better filter. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll put this car back together, put the cover back on, call Jeff and say come and get it. So just to recap, this was with the Jackson header, the short end intake, and no exhaust. This was when we hit the 2.5. This is a big difference. So we now have the 
PLM header, the three inch exhaust and the cold air intake. So that's pretty good gains everywhere. Let's let's show the next one. Let's go ahead and show you okay, real quick, before we drop the exhaust. Yeah. So if you remember episode one when George was selling this car and we said we're gonna offer a K24 in this, this is what we'd like. This is the results. This is what it looks like. This was stock EP3 motor and this is our K24. Look at that. Look at the massive gains right there. We're going from 140 to 221. That's a big jump right there and the funny thing is when you look at the motor it looks just the same and with our stealth exhaust it's nice and quiet so i'm gonna get george to run up and down the street with it and get some sound clips i want to see what this three inch exhaust sounds like i want to demonstrate how quiet it is too it's amazingly quiet listen to that is that not amazing that is fantastic that's a long three inch resonator and the twin loop. You ready? That sounds great. All you hear is intake. That's perfect. That is exactly what he's looking for. Nice, quiet, smooth. Sounds like a Honda has got that VTEC changeover. That's terrific. I think he's gonna be in love. That is good stuff right there. Listen to that. That's just a normal car right there. Nothing to see here. Normal EP3. How's it feel? Thing rips, dude. It's definitely better. Oh my God. It doesn't lay over now. Oh man, this thing is on fire. <laughs> I gotta be careful on the way home. I know, 180, oh, foot, 180 foot pounds of torque and it's starting to rain. Look at this. The rain is coming down. Awesome, buddy. Enjoy it. Thank you. Easy, See you again. Will you hear how quiet this is? You guys have heard it, but when he drives it normal this time, listen to this. It's like a stock car, isn't it? Awesome. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoy the series. If you do, click the subscribe button here. Click the like, you know the drill. Support our channel and we'll do more for you. There is going to be another episode of the Integral, but the last episode of the series, there is another episode on George's car, which will be part four. So stay tuned for that and we'll see you in the next video.